I'm just working on this the handle on this um, camp knife. I finished it on the grinder. You can see all the rough grind scratches. Grind, I've got a hole to fill there. Unfortunately, with uh, natural wood, you got to work with um, whatever the material's got. This is desert iron wood. So yeah, I've put the rough uh, handle profile in. As you can see, the hourglass figure. Uh, I'm just doing some final shaping. Uh, basically, I got this abrasive paper, and if, if I want to get it thinner, I can tear it down to give me the, the, the thickness of strips that I want. So I'm just going along now, just what I call uh, shoe shining, and uh, that tends to um, take off all the high high spots. And uh, makes the uh, the handle a bit more symmetrical. It's a bit of a slower process finishing it this way, but it means that if you make any mistakes, the mistakes happen slowly. You can see them happening, and then you can correct them. So I, I finished with this grit now, which is a P40. I'm going to move on now to a, a finer grit, a 120. So this is the. Uh the cloth I use, uh, Superflex aluminium oxide. So the next stage up for me, I thought it was 120, actually 180. Uh, pull some off of that. And just simply tear it. So that's it, that's the final grit, 180. I'm just going to go backwards and forwards taking those previous grit scratches out. Um, I'm actually using a different camera. You can probably tell the quality, I hope, is a lot better. I'm using um, a Nikon D7500 with a rather expensive Sigma lens and i got to admit, I'm not happy about using it in the workshop environment because of the dust and the grit. But, for this shot I thought it would do it good because it would show very clearly um, with the quality of the lens the, the handle as it sort of goes through its stages towards completion so it's a long winded process and you don't want to sit and watch hours, well not hours but certainly a long while of me taking these scratches out so uh, I'll bring you back when I've finished removing all these previous grit scratches. I'm glad to say I've uh, worked through the to the 180 grit now and I've uh, taken out all the, the scratches. I filled the uh, little voids that there were there. I used um, CA glue mixed with the dust from the actual uh, wood itself and it it, fall, it fills all those little voids and then hardens very quickly so you can continue, continue working. For anyone, everyone that's um, left some kind comments regarding my um, my eye, I'm glad to say my eye has vastly improved now, but I, I'm having some sort of a problem with my nose at the moment. I've now finished the handle off to um, 240 grit. Uh, after I finish on the on the higher grits, sometimes the, the pins will be a slightly proud of the wood because obviously they're, they're harder than the wood so they're the slowest to abrade back. So I had to go on to the, uh, the big wheel uh, and I just dressed them down very carefully uh, to make them flush with the, the surface of the wood. And when I move on to the finer grits, obviously uh, less material being removed and uh, everything then remains nice and flush. I just quick, at this point, I'm just going to do a quick spray of uh, WD-40 and you'll see how the wood darkens down and it reveals the colour of the wood to me and it also reveals any um, potential flaws. There's a little bit there, look. I've got to sand that back a bit more there. Uh, 
So there's a little hit, a little tip. A bit more work required on the coarser grit to get rid of these little scratches here. A bit round there. And then we're good to move up to the next um, the next grit. It, it's you've really got to finish off. Yeah, you know, I can see some more scratches there. You've really got to finish off on the coarser grit before you move up. Get rid of all the previous grit scratches before you move up to a finer grit, otherwise it just takes so much longer. Yeah, marks in there to do. Scratches there, scratches there. This side's a lot better. A few little marks in there. So we've got a bit more sanding on the 240 to go yet. Yeah? And then we'll move on to the finer grit. So I finished the um, the handle now. It's all finished to 1200, uh, including the, the spine, the tang of the knife rather. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean up the, the the lanyard tube internally, and for that I use a drill bit with um, some abrasive. This is 600 grit wrapped around here. Fits in there, lovely. Just polish that up, and I'll sham for that. Then I'll give the, the handle its first polish and the first polish will reveal if there's any more little flaws which need to be sanded out. And then um, I can then finish the the tang uh, to my finished grit, about 5,000. Um, finally polish the handle, unwrap the blade and the knife is then finished, ready for its level work. Same process of working through the grits is also applied to the tang. Um, and now we're on the final stages of uh, hand polishing this tang. Uh, and this is a 5000 grit paper that I've got rolled round a, a mandrel, a steel mandrel. I've got different diameters. You can use anything, pieces of pipe, tubing, anything for different diameters to get into the nooks and crannies and the different radii that you've got on your handles uh, and then just work those work it to a polish basically uh, and I'll always finish uh, just going the one way for a few dozen strokes well finished the knife I'm uh, very happy with it that's uh, a nice one nice and symmetrical I like to go back and what do you think missus is it a good knife I had to go back and uh, just do a little bit of tiny decent these these snagging and I've still got the sheep to make for this this one has been built for a customer this is for Julian he watches the videos so uh, there you go Julian that's gonna be going out to you at some point probably get the knife get the sheep finished tomorrow and wet formed Ready to go out probably went Thursday, I should think. Thursday. Um, another knife I'm sending out today. This is going over to the States. This is going over to Leboy, <coughs> who purchased it from me. Uh, another good customer. He asked, he just sent me a random email saying, Did I have any um, Massa Birch knives available? I just finished this one. I hadn't even had a chance to list it. So this is the Massa Birch knife that's going out today, being wrapped up and sent out today. Um, stabilised Massa Birch, tapered tang, uh, with the uh, loveless bolts. So a good solid knife. And the other knife I finished, which I haven't listed on the website, and I'm not sure if I've got a buyer for this or not, because the person that sent me the wood, uh, asked me to build 
build the knife and it was some time ago and uh, I found the wood I've completely forgot about it I found the wood it was olive wood stuck it in the dryer and then left it for about six months and then I forgot about it again and then uh, I was going through my drying cabinet looking at looking for wood to stabilize and I saw the uh, the olive wood there so I thought well, I'll run that through the stabilizing process and then whilst cleaning out the drawers uh, in here I found a letter from him um, and I completely forgot and he hadn't got back to me or anything so um, I'm gonna if I st still got his contact details I'll uh, send him an email and if he doesn't re reply then obviously I'll have to put the knife up for um, sale on the website but it's covered in Vaseline I always Vaseline the blades up in at the moment so it's not the best cleanest finish I need to degrease it properly to let you see it properly but anyway you'll you'll know what the slight greasiness on the blade is but anyway it's a lovely knife this stabilized um, olive wood with uh, black G10 liners, tapered tang, and the leveless bolts. Very nice. So that's that's just about that. Sorry if you can hear any extraneous noises. It's my daughter upstairs. With the, she's got a TV on upstairs, I think, and the noise is filtering down. So uh, that's uh, the roundup of work today uh, using the. Nikon camera, um, I don't like taking it into the workshop, it's an expensive camera, an expensive lens, I don't want to take it into a dusty environment, but at the moment I've got to because I haven't got a, a dedicated video camera, so it's doing all the jobs at the moment, photography and uh, video, but hopefully in the next um, two or three weeks I might buy myself another dedicated video camera, we shall see. Anyway that's it for now. Um, if this becomes available, it'll go on the website later on this week. I can't, I don't know any more uh, than that. Well, I've got to see if I can get some correspondence going with the guy that sent me the wood in the first place because he should get the first refusal of it. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.